Welcome, I'm Brian Hayes. In this video, I'm gonna explain what a junction object is in Salesforce and when you might wanna use one. So you're probably already familiar with standard and custom objects, right? Standard object might be an account or an opportunity or a contact. Custom object might be a time tracking record or a project record, etc. Well, a junction object is not a special object. It just refers to how one of those objects is being used. And so it doesn't have any extra features or anything like that. It's just simply a name that we give to an object that is serving the purpose of creating many to many relationships. That's where junction comes from because it's connecting those two different types of records. So you can have multiple relationships on either side of them. So let me give you an example, which might be helpful. If you look at an opportunity record, you have a related list called contact roles. And under contact roles, you can have multiple contacts. So this is an example of a many to many relationship. And there's a junction object in the background that makes this possible. And you know, this is a many to many relationship, because if we look at the contact record, you can see that this contact can also be related to multiple opportunities. So on the opportunity, you have multiple contacts on the contact, you can have multiple opportunities. In Salesforce, the junction object that makes this happen is called the contact role object. And we can see that record if you click the down arrow next to the person's name and hit edit, you can see that it's looking up to a contact, it's already looking up to this opportunity, and you've got two extra fields here as well. You can set the role of that person on the opportunity, and you could check the box as primary if they are the primary contact. So let's compare this many to many relationship with a one to many relationship. If you consider accounts and opportunities, they have a one to many relationship because on this opportunity, it can only be related to one account. In this case, it's Jake's Woodshop. But if we go to Jake's Woodshop on this account, we could have multiple opportunities. And so the thing that makes that possible is a lookup field. So if we go back to our opportunity, we have a lookup field that is looking up to the account. So on the opportunity side, you can only select one account but on the account side, you could have many opportunities listed there in that related list. So a junction object allows us to, you know, have many relationships on either side of it. And it consists of two lookup fields. So if we come back to our contact role example here and hit edit again, you can see we have two lookup fields. One is looking up to an opportunity and the other one is looking up to a contact. Now, oftentimes people will tell you that these lookup fields need to be master detail fields in order for this to be a junction object. Now that's not exactly true because a junction object, it's really about how you're using the record. And certainly master detail fields are particularly useful in this case because you can create roll up summary fields and they have other benefits that come along with them, but they're not strictly necessary. You can have the same function in a junction object by just using traditional lookup fields. They don't have to be master detail. And let me give you an example of when you might want to do that and not use a master detail lookup in that junction object. Um, let's say, for example, that we've got a custom object called courses, and then we have a junction object that we call enrollments. And so every enrollment record has to be related to a course. So that could be a master detail lookup, but we might also want to relate that enrollment record to sometimes a contact and sometimes a lead, because maybe we have free courses and we want people who aren't qualified yet to be able to enroll in them. Well, in that case, we wouldn't want to use a master detail lookup because those are always required. And sometimes it's a lead and sometimes it's a contact, but it's not going to be both at the same time. So in that case, we would actually create two lookup fields, one for the lead, one for the contact, and then a master detail field for the course. But at the end of the day, that enrollment record, that custom object is doing what we need it to do. It's allowing us to relate multiple people to multiple courses and vice versa. So to summarize, out of the box in Salesforce, you've got a lookup field that creates a one to many relationship, but there are certain situations where you wanna have a many to many relationship, in which case you need to create a custom object called a junction object that has two lookup fields on it, one to one object, one to the other. And that's gonna enable you to create that many to many relationship in your Salesforce org. I hope you found this video helpful. Let us know in the comments if you did and what other topics you'd like us to cover. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like more. Thanks for watching.